Yeah. And, and it goes back to the way you said supply and demand. I'm so glad, you know, that you, you had that approach because out of the dozen or so people I've talked to this about, that's a great summation of, of the driving factors, but the supply and demand is a big one because there used to be a lot more supply um, and less demand for the jobs. And now it's the other way. So you've got to be, like you said, more competitive. You have to be able to beat out other opportunities, or even I think the bigger opportunity that's come about and change things is the opportunity just to stay at home and, and not work and not just like an un- sitting on the couch collecting unemployment. But if you're like a mother of, of a few kid, young kids, you aren't getting paid like substantially more or have a better alternative. You, we see a lot of them exiting the workforce and staying home to raise their kids. So that's another thing that you're competing with is should I just stay home and, and raise my kids? So you really have to bring that opportunity up and compete against those other factors. Yeah, I, I often share with folks that, look, there, there was a lot of horrible things about the pandemic and a lot of loss of life, but the pandemic was an accelerator, many societal trends, of which some we won't know the impact for many years. Some may be negative, so there may be some that are they're good, but to your point, when it comes to this employment market, the whole idea of working from home, telecommuting, there's uh, hybrid jobs are now the new norm. But in our world, that's not, hybrid jobs are not an option, not a home entertainment, yeah. but the very fact that we're social creatures and we want to be outside and interact, that's where we come into play. And mm-hmm. I always say that in our business, we we work when everyone else plays and we play when everyone else works. We've got to be in in that space there. And I I think one of the things that most people don't really realize is that there's some underlying demographic trends that have been happening for many years. Some go back 40 years that again, the pandemic accelerated and we are, we're a society that's aging. We're society, a country now that's facing underpopulation. Mm -hmm. And even if everybody that was unemployed went to work tomorrow, we'd still be four or 5 million people short to right. fill the jobs that, that are open there. The downside is this, this is not the government. It's not the pandemic. It's just the societal trends that have been accelerated. The folks that are wrapping their arms around that and doing the things we talked about, they're the ones that, that are winning now. And they're the ones that are going to win long-term. 